Hey friends, welcome back to the Destination Baby and Kids YouTube channel. This is Gina, I am your host, and I'm so excited to be here with you today to talk about some of the differences between Up A Baby's lineup of infant car seats. So Up A Baby is a brand that makes a lot of different products for uh, an urban uh, mobile parent, so mostly strollers and car seats. And um, right now on the market, they have three different infant seats available for you to buy that would all click on to their wide vari uh, variety of strollers. So they have four different strollers and all of these car seats that you see in front of me would be able to clip on to their strollers either with uh, no adapter necessary or for Two of them you do need to buy an adapter, but they're very reasonably priced. Okay, so let's launch into what we've got going on here. This one in the center is gonna be the Up A Baby Mesa. This is their uh, V2. This is the longest running seat that they've had pretty much on the market. The next one over is a newer introduction. This is the Mesa Max, and you may have seen my video comparing the Mesa to the Mesa Max, but what we're actually all super excited for here today is this one in the center. So this is their newest seat. I'm gonna bring this up to the camera just to kind of highlight. This is called the Up A Baby Aria. So what is so exciting about this seat is that it is incredibly lightweight. This is probably the lightest weight car seat that I've ever uh, had the joy of handling. And the thing about it is that it's not like ultra lightweight uh, because of anything that they've cut out of it. The seat has a ton of bike helmet foam lining the interior of the plastic shell, so I love that. Um, it's just some changes that they've made to the seat itself that are gonna cut out some of the additional weight. This little guy is gonna clock in at 6.9 pounds, and I have to tell you, I lift these all day. It is unbelievably lightweight. I cannot stress that enough. So um, if you go with an Aria, you're also gonna get an incredibly attractive price point. So this seat comes in at $349, and that's gonna be for the four colors that it currently comes in. Four colors, right? Okay, perfect. Um, my rep is here, so I'm just double checking to make sure I'm correct. Mesa Max and Mesa V2 are going to come in uh, Different colors that will clock in at different price points depending on which color you get. But Aria, again, our newest offering is gonna be at a 349 price point. The other thing that's extremely exciting about this car seat is that it does the baseless installation with European belt routing method. And we know that the other two do that as well. But I was so thrilled to see that instead of doing the Mesa V2 style base, so when you buy a Mesa V2, you get the Mesa V2 base. This is just a really nice base. Uh, it's very easy to install. The rate of failure is very, very low in terms of people screwing up the installation because they make the installation incredibly clear. But it doesn't have as many safety features as I would like. So the Mesa Max or now the Aria are both going to have the bases that are loaded with those safety features that we've sort of come to expect on our more premium seating. So the base will look different. It is not interchangeable with Mesa V2. So if you get a Mesa V2, you have to have a Mesa V2 base. But Mesa Max and Aria do have a very similar base, not identical, but they are interchangeable. Um, I like the Aria base probably a little bit better just because there's some clarity on some of it uh, that's a little more ambiguous on the other style for Mesa Max. So it's just like, of course, as you move along with design, you generally improve on the product. And I think they've done a nice job with that. The clarity on the leveler is really nice, uh, indicating for a different size child. But these are the safety features we're talking about. So you have a stability load leg. It's metal, it's not plastic. You have an anti-rebound plate that's very highly pronounced, which we love. And then the smart secure system for both the seatbelt I'm gonna come up here. It's red right now, which means it's not installed, but when it's installed correctly, it's going to turn green. That smart secure system has a variety of green things that we're gonna look for when we install the seat. I will have a different video showing that, but it communicates to the consumer very clearly with green windows to let you know you've done the right thing or uh, the absence of red in the case of the load leg. So very, very clear and a price for an extra base. So the seat's going to come with one base, they all do, but a price for an extra base on this little guy is gonna be 160. 
Uh, price for an extra base on Mesa Max is also going to be 160. Price for a Mesa V2 base is 130. I do think with the Max or the Aria, you are getting way more safety features for significantly small increase in cost. So I'd probably pick one of those guys, but I just like the extra safety features. The other one's gonna be great safety as well. I just love more is more. Why can't you love more? Um, except the only thing we don't want is more weight. And again, super lightweight. So that for me, also would be a reason why I would probably elect for myself to go with this one. I also love that the handle is now aluminum. Uh, one thing I noticed with both the Mesa V2 and the Mesa Max, which are substantially heavier, they have a button that you press to take the car seat off of their stroller. So if you have like a Vista stroller, I'm gonna take the big kid's seat off the top and put the car seat on. Something that the brand has been known for when you do this type of interface is a single hand squeeze release. Um, so you just use one hand. Now, it's not a critical thing, but I do have one customer that has um, like only one arm able to be used. And so it is a difference on the Aria that if you wanna remove it from an up a baby stroller, it's atypical in that you don't have a button to press, you squeeze a handle underneath. But I'm certain that the reasoning behind that is that it helps keep the product lighter weight when you have less cables and less buttons, less things like that to have to all manage on a seat, you can actually cut out quite a bit of weight. Um, both of the seats, all three of the seats, have pretty intense infant inserts that are very clearly marked when you remove them. So with Mesa V2 and Mesa Max, you take the infant insert out at 11 pounds. With the Aria, you take the infant insert out at nine pounds. And also size, just in general. Let's talk about the size. Both Mesa V2 and Mesa Max are gonna hold children that are 32 inches long and 35 pounds heavy. Realistically, most kids are gonna to get to the length of these seats before they ever get to the weight restriction. 35 pounds is enormous. For most kids, that would be like three years old. So just keep that in mind. The Aria is slightly smaller. It's gonna hold 30 pounds and 30 inches. And before you get up in arms about that, that is still well within the range of uh, an average one-year-old. I think 30-30 is totally reasonable on a car seat. And again, when it's 6.9 pounds and $350, I can't even believe it actually holds a kid that big. That's pretty incredible. Um, the infant insert here comes out after nine pounds. There is a secondary piece of the insert that comes out after about four months. So you do get quite a substantial amount of growth for the seat, which is nice. And they claim that you have 25 different positions for the headrest to stop on your journey as your baby grows. Um, you know, I'm too lazy to hit every single one. I think that the big takeaway with any rear facing car seat is to make sure that the uh, shoulder straps are at or beneath, slightly beneath their shoulders. That would be in line here, but you do have a variety of positions, very easy to do with a no rethread harness. So typically when you have these moving pieces, it does add weight to the product, but we're still clocking in at 6.9 pounds without cutting out a lot of the features that would make a seat um, desirable. So that's really exciting and also safe. You know, you've got your pretty robust side impact head protection that is going to of course stay in. And that's true on all three of them. I'm gonna pull the canopy down now to just show. They've addressed the fact that their Mesa V2 has a short canopy by offering a longer canopy on Aria. So if you want the longer canopy, you're gonna get it here. You are also gonna get it on Mesa Max. Again, a heavier seat, but a little bit longer duration of use, more features. You also have the option for um, Pure Tech fabrics on the most expensive version here, which are merino wool. But the cool thing about Aria fabric, which is dual tech, is that it is FR free. So this is a flame retardant free material. It's not necessarily merino wool, but like I couldn't care less about that. My bigger concern is whether it has the flame retardants on it, um, which it is free of on the new material. So that's really exciting. All in all, um, we love this lineup of seats, but I have to say it's incredibly exciting to have such a new lightweight seat to offer that you can do with the fabulous base that it's included with. Of course, we can do the European belt routing method for the baseless installation here the same way as the other two. Uh, you do put the handle forward when you do that for anti-rebound, which is exciting. 
If you've seen my videos, you know how we feel about that. So it's really exciting. Um, yeah, so feel free to leave uh, comments below. Please feel free to like the video. You're also welcome to subscribe. We love that. We value every viewer. And if this makes sense to share with someone, sharing is caring, please feel free to share the video. And um, if you've got questions or comments, leave them below. I will do my best to get back to them. We appreciate you watching the video so much. Please check out my installation video of the Aria. I'm very excited to show how that works, as well as um, all the rest of the videos we got. We got a lot to look at and a lot to go over. Thank you so much for watching.